back to my YouTube channel. So this is one of those uh, simply get ready with me to go to an event. So I have an event that I'm going for um, in the city. So come and join me as I get ready. ready. So normally I just like to curl my hair. So we're gonna prep my hair as right now so i'm just combing through i'm like literally combing through it right now reduce the tangleness of the ends of my hair and normally if you guys don't know i like to keep my hair smooth as possible so i already pre-washed my hair okay i pre-washed my hair and I'm about to put this product and it's called Opalax and it is a bonding oil so it's just gonna protect my hair for the, from the heat and of course leaving my hair with that natural like silky uh, look and this is how I normally do my hair so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it so I'm just simply prepping it, okay, I'm currently in my bathroom right now, so I split my hair into two sections, okay, so I just run through, so I, I create like that crease cut where I want my hair to be, so this is what it is. Okay. and normally I take a strand normally when I curl my hair it only just takes maybe approximately about 20 minutes because I use a, a barrel this is a one inch barrel and it is by T3 you can get these in Amazon which I'll be linking down into the description bar so first I take this strand, it's already heated up, so I just clamp it, twist outward from my face, away from my face, and I just keep on turning it, okay? You don't have to stay here too long, and I'm actually just curling it away from my face, leave it for five seconds, and then you should have that bouncy beachy wave look okay and let it go voila so i'm gonna do that um off camera and i'm gonna show you how i finish my hair I'm done curling my hair so what I'm gonna do is that I use this hairspray and it's Unite I got this from my hair salon okay so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna use my fingers and then as I spray I'm gonna also tossel it out so normally I bend I actually flip my hair over such as this so I use two of my index fingers and take it and then by simply just tossing it down and I will just spray it as I tossel like really tossel it this is how I normally just do my hair watch out for your eyes so I normally just massage it like ultimately massage it when I know it's good, I flip it back. So it goes like this. So, and then I normally just, if I want it up, just a firm hold and voila. So this is how I normally add volume to my hair. Okay, and now 
Once my hair is done, I double check in the mirror if they're good. I just check if the volume into my liking. And then I just run through to spread it out. And basically, this is how I do my hair. Simple, right? So I only took like 20 minutes. And of course, I did that real lot for you guys. So I hope that you guys like that. And so yes, now I'm going to move on into my makeup. So I've done both of my eyes. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm about to use mascara and just finish it off. So I like to use my Laura Mercier um, volume, high volume mascara waterproof everything i'm using is waterproof at this point and then i also been using this for like maybe about a few months and it is by thrive cosmetics and so i'm gonna just show you guys how i just create that falsy lash look so i go ahead with i don't use a curl lash um this creates the illusion of a falsy like a false lashes so i'm gonna show you how it looks like so i'm just gonna look down and then just simply work my way up and wiggle it a little bit okay. and so it looks so it looks like so okay and then I do it with the other eye as well so it looks like this on the side it's pretty simple and then i use tribe as well so this creates like that illusion of that falsy so it goes this way so sweep it up simply wiggle it so it looks like so so at this point guys I'm completely done when it comes to my makeup and hair and I'm about to show you guys my outfit so I will finish it off normally another one that I normally add is a lipstick so this one is a Fuller number 80 by Maybelline. So I would just go a little bit. I don't normally put the lip liner. Uh, so I just like to use a little bit of this. And just simply And just you you don't want to put too much so you want to just make your way into making that desired look you look back into the mirror and voila I'm done guys I'm about to wear my jumpsuit and I'm gonna show you so I'm using a eyeliner by K by KVD okay and it is a waterproof eyeliner so I'm gonna use my mirror okay I'm gonna use my mirror and I'm gonna show you guys in a second okay so that is how my face looks like right it's pretty simple I don't do too crazy when it comes to getting ready so i'm just gonna use i'm gonna slowly 
close my eyes a little bit and look down. Okay, so basically that's how I started it. Okay, so there is a little wing already. So here, the technique is start by the middle of your eyes and then slowly create like a little check like a check mark but the easiest hack is that if you have like a hair clip you can simply use this put it a little bit there and just to help you guide and just like a stamp so you can guys do a stamp that way so basically this is how i create it so i simply just look down and slowly work my way to the desired look that I want and it should look like this so I don't normally make the wing thicker but this is how I normally just style it into my liking so basically that's how it looks cool all right so i'm gonna show you guys off camera what it looks like and then i'll be done so now i finished both of the eyes i'm about to use morphe m506 if you guys can see there you go and i'm gonna just simply take this black right at this corner at the bottom of the palette I'm actually just gonna take a smidge of it and just tap the excess what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna add I'm gonna add it right by the end of my eyes so I'm gonna just show you So it's just gonna be a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So I'm just gonna use it as a guide for me to create a wing liner. So I'm just gonna add it a little bit into my eyes. And I'm just gonna sweep by my lash line. Okay. And then I'm going to show you guys how you can put your wing liner. The finished look. What do you guys think? And then my coat will be this way. It is a off-white coat. And what do you guys think? So I'm good to go. I'm actually, this is my outfit for... For my event i hope that you guys like it and stay tuned for more of my hauls my a 